my gynecologist had told me that I needed to get a colonoscopy, so I scheduled with Dr. Lowney and went in just for a routine colonoscopy. She found um, a mass in my colon, and so she told me about it and sent it off to the lab to have it checked, and then Dr. Lowney called me and let me know that I had colon cancer, and then had me come in and we talked about a surgery date. Nancy is a typical patient that I see for a screening colonoscopy. This is a woman who has no family history of colorectal cancer, or polyps that run in the family. In her early 50s, that her primary care doctor encouraged her to get a screening colonoscopy because it was time. At the time of the colonoscopy, we found actually a very advanced polyp in the left side of her colon. And biopsy showed that there was some invasive cancer in the biopsies. Surgery was recommended. The surgery was done and I spent about six days in the hospital and then was released and um, she told me to take it easy for a while and I did and then I'm fine. We performed a laparoscopic minimally invasive procedure and she recovered uneventfully and now she's a year out cured of her cancer. Dr. Lowney is very good about explaining things to you. She takes her time with you and makes sure that she's answered all your questions. I feel like not only is she my doctor, she's my friend. It's important to get screened when it is time. And most people know age 50 for colorectal cancer screening, but it actually is done earlier if you have a family member with colorectal cancer or polyps. This is a perfect example of why you colonoscopies is very important and can prevent cancer or detect them earlier so that they can get cured from their cancer. I lost my mom to cancer and so I think having those checkups are very important that you do and then also it's given me an avenue to tell other people too that it's not bad to do it and you know it's the best gift that you can give yourself to have a colonoscopy and be checked out to make sure you're okay.